India has over 13,000 government schemes. And these schemes are basically meant for about 850 million Indians and about 60 million micro businesses. Majority of these businesses and, and citizens are not aware of what are these schemes. Even if they know about the schemes, they are not aware what are they eligible for. And that is the constant motivation for me to always think that why am I doing what I'm doing. You're basically getting them something which is their right, which is their haq. And the basic premise of the whole solution is this AI-based platform. So we have a repository, a, a library of 7,500 schemes uh, translated in 12 local languages plus Hindi and English. Then we have this AI engine where you put in the information from this dictionary, it picks up what are the exact schemes you're eligible for. And in, in an instant, you can know what are the, what is your eligibility. After the first year and a half, of running Hagdarshak, we also realized that just information, just platform is not enough. What we really need to do is ensure this information reaches the doorstep of the citizen. And once they know of the government scheme, they were coming back to us and asking, how can I apply for it? You've given me this information that I'm eligible for a pension scheme or insurance scheme or this agri-fertilizer scheme, but what do I do? We realized that we can train these women entrepreneurs. In the community, there are these women who are members of self-help groups, who are teachers, who are Anganwadi workers, who are housewives. They are first-time digital users. So one of our first trainings that we give to them is how to use a smartphone, how to use the app, how to navigate through the system, how to use UPI. Moving to the next part, we also realize that this segment that we are talking about, these 850 million, are not necessarily people who can pay a full fee for the service. I, as a tribal uh, farmer or a construction worker or a uh, auto rickshaw driver may not be able to pay you. So who in the ecosystem can sponsor this? Who can pay for them? And that's when we reached out to employers. And today actively we are working with 75 plus clients. So including the likes of gig economy partners like Uber, Zomato, Urban Company. Today we've reached over 2.2 million families and close to 50,000 micro businesses. In the process we have helped disperse close to 5,000 crores worth of benefits through a network of over 25,000 women entrepreneurs. As a process, our women entrepreneurs have also earned close to 15 crores cumulative income. And they are on an average earning 4.5 to 5,000 rupees per month. This is the core strength of Agdarshak, our ability to train uh, networks and we have done this across 26 states. So we can today set up any district, any community, uh, any operations within four weeks. And we have worked across 380 districts in the country and over 5,500 villages. And I think COVID has been the biggest innovation officer in every organization and so has been the case with Hagdarsha. We already were a hybrid model where we were doing online platform and this on-ground women entrepreneur agent-led model. But I think we, are, we were pushed to think more online. So we set up our Play Store app in 2020 April so that citizens across the country could know about scheme information. During that year, there were multiple government schemes that were launched for relief. The second thing we did in second half of, the, uh, of 2020 was that we launched our MSME platform. There are 60 million micro businesses in the country. These are your street vendors, fruit seller, uh, pan and cigarette shop, your small mom and pop shops. How do they know about which government loan to apply? How do they get insurance? How do they get basic certification? The third big pivot that we made in 2021, as things started opening up, from our communities, from our entrepreneurs, they said that they wanted a local, block level, community level office. We established what we call Yojana Kendras in Jan 2021. These are one-stop physical centers for anything related to schemes. We started with one Kendra in Jan 2021, and today we have established close to 15. By March 2023, we are looking to expand this number to 100. 90% are going to be in aspirational districts in rural areas and 10% in low-income slums in urban areas. This number of 100, we aim to scale it to 1,000 centres by 2025 with a network of 10,000 active women uh, agents. The fourth thing and the final that really uh, we innovated on during COVID was what we call the Yojana card, India's first QR code based card. So this will be, imagine a card in the hands of a farmer or a construction worker where they can tap that QR
QR code on their smartphones. If they don't have a smartphone, on the Hagdarshak agent smartphone, they will know what are the schemes they are eligible for, what is the level of tracking, how, what are the documents I need. And they can also pay and receive payment through that card. We aim by end of this financial year to disburse 100,000 Yojana cards. We aim to reach 10 million families year on year by 2025. And that will result in a disbursement of a billion dollars every year for government schemes. That's really the path and goal that we have uh, for the next two years. And we could actually expand on our goals from 10 million to 100 million in the next two years if we can be joined by the top 1000 companies listed in this country. And they say that we want every worker, not only who's employed in the companies, but in their entire supply chain. For a sugarcane manufacturing company, can we think of how do you help the sugarcane farmers? For a cotton manufacturing or big labels, can we think of how do you support cotton farmers? All of them need better social security. I mean, we have to build solutions to service them. And Agdarshak is essentially doing that. Our own vision is in two to three years, can we be one of the first companies to list on the social stock exchange? Can we set that example? Can we set that bar where Hagdarshak, which is a private limited company which, but is focused on impact, can we raise money from the public to ensure that social security reaches to more and more people?